Hello and welcome back to Children's Reading Cove. This is chapter seven of Owl Diaries, Eva and the New Owl. Chapter seven, sleep over disaster. Wednesday, we all had fun working on the owl times in school tonight. I finished writing the new story about George's sister, Jenny. Lucy and Haley finished working on their crossword puzzle. Zara kept taking pictures of everyone all the time. Zach reported the weather to us, whether we wanted to know it or not. Carlos drew funny cartoons of each of us. Lily wrote about our wing ball game for the sports page. Jacob wrote about Orlando for the travel page. His family went on vacation there. And Sue wrote about what owls should and should not wear. George designed the front page and Macy checked everything for mistakes. It was exciting to see our newspaper coming together. After school, I flew up to Haley. Hi, Haley. Hi, Eva. I wanted to see if, um, you maybe wanted to come over for a sleepover on Saturday. That's really thoughtful of you, Eva. Thank you. But, well, I, I'm sorry. I've already agreed to sleep over at Lucy's this Saturday. Maybe you could ask Lucy if you can come too. I flew off before Haley finished talking. I felt embarrassed again. When I got home, I tried to cheer myself up. I dressed Baxter in a pink ballerina outfit, but then my brother Humphrey came into my room. Who's ever heard of a bat arena? Baxter looks so silly. Oh, you're such a squirrel head, Humphrey. I wasn't having any fun without Lucy. So I called her. Hi, Lucy. Hi, Eva. Just wondered what you were doing. I'm busy, Eva. Oh, well, you've been busy this week, too. Oh, uh, I guess so. Bye, Eva. Diary. I think I may have lost my very best old friend by trying so hard to make a new friend. Maybe Sue was right. Why would Haley want to be friends with me? She only wants to be friends with cool owls. And Lucy is the coolest. End of chapter 7. We'll see you back here very, very soon for chapter 8. Bye-bye.